Okay, we have to share. This just happened in the break. So when I went to Pierre de, Pierre de Brule, he goes, when did you go to Pierre de Brule? <laughs> so you went the year before me. Yeah. And both of us went on a government grant that was set up by... Julius Pokemon. Wow, that is just craziness. My calf teacher, our calf teacher, like this is nuts. Okay, making wow. simple food that's delicious is what Rob Feeney does. You make complicated food that's <laughs> delicious as well, but this has a family twist to it. You were at the farmer's market and you found? Well, I mean, I have the, I, you know, I live in, I live in South Surrey, I live in White Rock, and yes. uh, there's a little store that's right by me called Beast and Brine, and I went and grabbed some organic tomatoes, and I came home, and I was like, you know, I just threw a bunch of stuff together, peppers, uh, eggplant, zucchini, roast them in the oven, <laughs> I grabbed some crostinis, and I put them on with a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, burrata cheese, and all of a sudden I was like, I had this, and my, my wife was just like, wow, this is amazing. So Love this is actually you, a honey. dish, like I usually do, this is a dish that I make, I make, I make a lot of stuff at home for my kids. And make from, one for me, how, okay. how can we do this? What well, do we need to do? Well, one of the things, like I said, is important is right now is, like right now is one of the best times of the year for local products. So this is very simple, we just have, I've roasted off peppers, a little bit of zucchini uh, and, and uh, eggplant together, some onion. And what I'm going to ask you to do, because I'm going to start plating this right now, is I'm yes. just going to get you to cut a little bit of the basil. Because okay. this is With like the said, sharpest knife on the planet, yeah, which careful. is actually oh, good. Feel, less. <laughs> do you feel better now that you know I went to Debrule? Yeah, I do. I'm like, thank God, because it was like that knife's crazy. Yeah, it is. So a little, put, but it's a little better than a dull one. So we're just going to, and this is roasted off. Uh, you can do this anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour, a little bit longer. I've done this in the oven. You can do it on the stove top. The great thing about doing it in the oven is you can kind of just throw it in there and forget about forget it. About, about 250 and 300, 250 to 300 degrees. For how long? Um, I would leave it at that temperature for at least 45 minutes to an hour, if not longer. So let's put As the basil, basil in here. Chef. Thank you. You're welcome. Wonderful. And then the gar the roasted garlic, if you don't mind. We'll just in here? toss it in there. Yeah. All right. Yum. Okay. And then while we're doing that, let's just then we'll go to the burrata. Okay. Roasted nice. garlic, super simple as well. Just a little olive oil in what uh, temperature oven? Uh, about 250, 250 to 300. So we're going to take this broad on up. I, while you're cutting this, we were talking about yes. this. This is like a, whatever it's, it's happening now. People Beautiful. love this cheese now. So this is buffalo mozzarella. Slice? Yeah, just a little bit of slice. This is uh, like, oh. look at that. Hello. <laughs> That's the best part. Good morning, burrata. Uh, but this is made with a little bit of cream, right, yeah. and milk. And my wonderful friend, our wonderful friends at Boza were nice, nice enough last night because I, I needed this last night. They dropped it off for me. So we're going to just toss this around. Yes. And we're going to take a little bit of this mix. So this is warm. We're just going to put this on top of here. And then we're just, uh, again, simplicity is much more difficult to achieve than complicated cuisine, as I always say. You know what? It's true <laughs> it because... Is. You gotta bring out the true flavors of, of what you have in you. It's season right. You gotta don't be afraid to put a little salt on it. Well you can make this you can make this Looks but this so is good. all based on kind of local, right? So mm. and for me that's very important this time of year is 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 supporting local product. Doesn't always have to necessarily be organic. I know we wanna go organic, but I think at the same time it's as long as you're supporting local lo local people I think is good. So Agreed. We're just, we're just gonna put a little bit of that on, on, on the top. So I'll do some on this end. Okay, and, and, and then we will talk about the Fraser Valley food. Festival. Is yeah, it's the Fraser right? Valley Food Show. Yeah, it's going on. It starts tonight, uh, tomorrow, and uh, Sunday. I'm on tonight at 7. I'm on tomorrow uh, at uh, 12.30 and 3.30. It's a great, again, way to promote local. Like local. And the great thing about me is I feel pretty comfortable out there because we have our Abbotsford location. We have our newest Cactus Langley. Club. We're talking Cactus yeah, Club. Langley. So it's Langley like, and it's, Abbotsford. Yeah, so I'm going to be, <laughs> I feel pretty at home out there. So it's going to be fun. Nice. Okay, so FraserValleyFoodFestival.com. Do we have the key for that? I think we do, just in case you want to check it. Uh, Chef Rob Feeney will be there tonight. It is on through the weekend, and we are going to taste uh, ratatouille crostini with burrata cheese, rusticate. I'm so bringing one over to you, as I know, mm. and then we'll reminisce about it. I was getting nervous I there. Cheese. Yeah, I, I counted six, and I figured, you know, Rob's going to get one. <laughs> We're getting one. Yeah, Thor's going to get one. I know Thor's Kyle's in one. for one. Jody can probably put away three of those by herself, so I'm Easily. not sure if there's going to be any left by the time I come around to the scraps get on the table. Own, there. Thank you so much.